Well, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. If you are new, hi. Thank you for clicking onto this video. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. So today's video is gonna be a good old trying out some brand new products. Some of them are new, some of them are like new old, if you get what I'm saying. And I haven't done a video like this in such a long time. I bought a lot of new makeup and I also received some new makeup as well the past few months, but I just haven't had the time to sit down and try them out. So I really wanna go into detail, try out some new products for you guys. Also, my hair might look cute, but girl. The bun life, the bun life is real. Look at that. We got some Made by Mitchell makeup products in here. We also got Holly Boone makeup line in here as well. We also got the Laura Mercier Honey Translucent Powder that I actually have used quite a few times. I just never like spoken to you guys about it. So I thought why not take the opportunity to talk to you guys about this translucent powder and the new NARS foundation as well. So I already got my eyebrows on. I am wearing the Benefit Precisely My Brow in the shade six. And I'm also using the Benefit Brow Setter as well. I've been using those two products non-stop for the past like few years. It's the only brow products that I actually ever use. I already got some primer on. I am using the NARS Pore and Perfecting Primer. That primer is to help like blur out my big ass pores and my acne scars and everything. So that's like the primer I'm currently using recently. And I actually really love using this foundation now. I did do a paid collaboration post on my Instagram using this foundation. So shout out to NARS. That's actually my first ever paid collaboration I've done with NARS. When I first received this foundation, I was like, yeah, I really like the packaging. It's really nice, matte. I don't know why, but packaging is like the first thing I test out. I don't know why. I, I, I don't know. I mean, to me, packaging is everything. So I always give my foundations a shake and then I pour a little bit on the back of my hand. I don't wear as much foundation as I used to. I only wear like maybe just a little bit like that. And I use the shade Barcelona. And I did have a Zoom call with NARS because when they wanted to work with me on this foundation they felt like it was right for me to speak to a professional NARS makeup artist and just learn more about this foundation which I think is such a smart thing to do and I think a lot of brands should do that more often actually. The NARS makeup artist she uses her fingers to blend this foundation and I'm just like girl I'm not as skilled as you and also these nails I would like poke my eye out I would scratch my skin so um I asked her if it's okay to use a sponge and she said yeah it's absolutely fine using a sponge and I don't know if you guys can see hold on let me just like turn down this light because it's kind of giving me too much exposure so instantly my skin just looks so even and I feel like my skin looks pretty real even though it's got makeup on so my beauty blender is damp and instantly it just really helps blur out my skin and what I love about this foundation is that it sets matte so if you have dry skin stay away from this foundation I just don't see this working for you guys because it sets so matte almost to the point where I personally feel like I don't need too much powder and I spoke to Gary about this and I was like Gary do you not find this foundation a bit too matte because Gary's got like quite oily skin as well and he was like yeah it's a bit too matte and I was like okay cool I'm not the only one who thinks like that so I don't feel like I need too much powder so I don't need to bake whenever I have this foundation on just like a light powder and then a little bit of a mist as well lock everything in place so that way it lasts all day I mean NARS is very well known for their base makeup and to be honest if I was to recommend any foundation or concealers or powders it would be NARS or Laura Mercier personally when it comes to like premium makeup and I was also talking to like another friend Lola about this foundation and she said that this is one of her favorite foundations as well so that's really good to know. It's good to know that my friends like something that I like as well. Okay, so now that is nice and blended. Concealer that I have been obsessed with. I don't think I've spoken about this concealer on my YouTube. It's the Elf Hydrating Concealer. Oh my God, girl. I am in the shade Medium Peach. I am in love with this concealer. This should have been Elf's first concealer because the matte concealer was okay. I didn't think it was all that, but when they launched this concealer, I was like, they did some magic to this concealer in my opinion. And what I love about it is that it is hydrating. And I definitely much prefer a matte foundation and a hydrating concealer because having a matte concealer underneath the eyes where, you know, there's lines and everything, is not cute. So I personally like to use a hydrating concealer because it just really helps illuminate 
and makes the under eyes look really nice and hydrated and plump. And when you have the right concealer shade as well, it really helps give you a little bit of a lift as well. Okay, cute. Okay, so for the powder, what I like to do is I like to use the Fenty bronzer brush. I know this is a bronzer brush, but it's also very good for underneath the eyes as well. So I just go ahead, dust the Laura Mercier powder. I don't bake or anything. I kind of just like lightly tap it on top. And then I put it on areas where I do get oily. Now, even though the NARS foundation is matte, my skin does look a little oily after like six hours of wearing the foundation, but I'm personally not mad at that. I don't mind that. But just to like help control the oils a little bit, more i just go ahead and put a little bit of powder on i'm obsessed with these three products i feel like these three products have made my 2020 even though 2020 has been such a whack year these products have made me so happy because my face makeup just looks so good like it's matte but it's not too matte it's long wearing as well my skin still looks real i'm just all around happy so next thing we're gonna do is the blushes Woo! Oh my god. So I actually bought all of Made by Mitchell makeup products. I got his eyeshadow palettes, I got his makeup bags, I got his blush as well. There's actually one shade that I use quite often but I can't seem to find it. Okay, so I found the blush. This is the blusher that I usually use by Made by Mitchell and it is Peach Sugar. Oh my god. Come on camera. Anyway, let me just swatch this for you guys. It is so pigmented. I was actually like shook at how pigmented it was because blusher can be a bit scary for some people, but I personally really love blusher. I feel like it really helps give my skin that little bit of youthfulness, a little bit of like, you know, extra dimension and a different tone of color as well. And I personally really like this shade. I mean, it kind of matches my, my hair dye. <laughs> He's also got some other shades as well, which I'm gonna swatch for you guys. I really hope Made by Mitchell launches lip glosses. I don't know why, but whenever I think of like Mitchell, I think of like glossy skin, glossy lips. Yeah, just glossy everywhere and just really super beautiful makeup. So hopefully he launches some lip products. Okay, so this is in the shade Where's the SBF? Wow, that is gorgeous. Oh my God, I love it. I love the packaging as well. Oh my God, this is mango daiquiri. Oh, that makes me want to drink right now. Ooh, okay, so this one is not super opaque, but I feel like when it comes to blushes, they don't have to be. So this one is super cute. This is very, um, this is, this is like a, this is the type of blusher you'd wear for like a fashion shoot. And I feel like this texture is just a little bit different. It's a little bit more glossy as for the other two blushes. You know, they're kind of setting a bit matte. I don't know if you guys can tell because my light kind of like washes everything out. I'm gonna try my best to describe how Mango Daiquiri looks. It's just a little bit more, wet. Oh, this looks so cute. This is Sweet Cheeks, which is such a cute blusher name. <gasps> oh my god, yes. That is a Barbie blusher. I love that. That is so so cute. Love it, love it, love it. We've also got another shade of pink blusher as well. This is in the shade Posy Rosy. I think that's how you say it. I'm gonna put it underneath Sweet Cheeks. That way you guys can see. So this is a little bit more darker. That's actually so beautiful. All the blushes so far that he has made are stunning. I like how he's got a variety of like fashion type of blushes and just like everyday blushes. This, I'm very excited to swatch. I feel like this might be a go-to blusher. I love these tones of blushes where it's like quite dark and peachy. I feel like that really suits my skin tone. Ooh, <gasps> that is stunning. This should be a lip color. Oh my God, this is called Cherry Cola. That is such a good name because this definitely looks like a Cherry Cola to me. I am gonna go ahead and try Cherry Cola because that caught my eye. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my cheek like this. And then I'm just using these Smashbox. This is a foundation brush. Yeah, this is a blurring foundation brush, but I like to use this to blend out my blushes. Oh, you see what I mean? It's so pigmented. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's okay though, because made by Mitchell's blushes, they do blend really well. So the more you blend it, the more it does kind of like disappear. Like it doesn't like, it's not like a stubborn type of makeup where it stays in one place. It does kind of like disappear. I'm going to do one of those blusher looks where I like put it all over my nose and stuff. Actually, I don't 
don't think I like this color as much as I thought I would. Okay, I think I need to try this blusher on another day. And let me try the other blusher that I am obsessed with using. This is Sugar Peach. See what I mean? How nice this blusher is. I just went ahead and put more on. I think that was a bad idea, actually. Hold on. So somehow the blusher looks the same on both sides. I don't know how that happened. Actually, no, I do know how that happens because of the brush. That's why. I should have changed my brush. End of the day, I still really like these products. I mean, I did a pretty good job at demonstrating them. I'm just having one of those days where I'm just having a makeup day. Wow. But I do like these. I do. And like, if you've seen my other like makeup videos on Instagram and TikTok, I have used these. And my makeup did look really good in those videos. Like, I don't want to do my own haul. But I did a good job. I'm gonna try fix it and use a little bit of bronzer So this is the Holly Boone bronzers. These are surprisingly really affordable Like I knew Holly Boone cosmetics was an affordable brand, but I didn't think they would be 14 pounds I don't know why because when I opened them in my PR unboxing looking at it I thought it'd be about 20 pounds, but it's actually 14 pounds and also there are nine shades as well And I feel like personally that's a good amount of shades for like a small indie brand because Holly Boone cosmetics is a you know small indie brand so yeah i was really surprised i'm gonna use shade three and four. Oh, okay so this is shade three and this is shade four. Oh my god and my nails oh wow wow girl wow i accidentally put a little like fingernail in shade three but it's okay we move so these are the two bronzer shades this one's a little bit more well, how, how, i don't know how to describe it it's a little bit more like redder undertone am i right or am i wrong it's a very slight difference very slight so that's why i I felt like I was able to like use these two shades out of the collection. I'm gonna try shade three. That's actually, ooh, okay. I should not be putting on too much because that is a little bit more pigmented than I thought. So far it's working really well. The shade is pretty good for my skin tone. I think I, I think I can get away with a shade two actually. Shade two is quite light, but I don't know. I do feel like the blusher that I'm wearing is overpowering the bronzer. So you can't really see the bronzer that well, but that's okay because I like to be more blushy than bronzy, especially during winter time. I like to have my skin looking very like rosy and cheeky and everything. So a little bit of bronzer can help, you know, contour my cheeks a little bit. It's not like clinging onto my foundation. It's not not looking mad or anything it actually looks pretty decent like it's not patchy or anything i'm trying to like think of like not a negative but i'm trying to like examine this bronzer as much as i can i'm actually going to try and contour my nose with this bronzer i'm going to use the sigma 3d hd precision brush wow what the hell i do you know what i like this bronzer by looking at my forehead it looks cute onto the highlight this is the new charlotte tilbury highlighter i think it's new i mean i just literally got this in through pr and i feel like charlotte tilbury is so good at being festive with her makeup collection like let me just show you real quick what she sent me this is so adorable it's a little stocking and there's so many like little products in here as well but i really wanted to try a highlighter because that is something i feel like i haven't tested out in a very long time on my channel so this is what the highlighter looks Ooh, so cute oh wow that is a creamy textured highlighter so i think this is a pressed highlighter so i just did a swatch on my finger i don't know if you guys can see but it's a little bit chunk here so charlotte tilbury is marketing this as a face and body highlighter and this is a soft focus glow so it's not meant to be like a blinding highlighter which i personally don't mind i feel like i've outgrown the super blinding highlighter trend it's been a long time since i've tried a highlighter that i've liked and i'm really liking how this one looks like on the swatch, it didn't do any justice, but on my face, it actually looks pretty decent. Okay, so Charlotte Tilbury, this highlighter is £39, which is not cheap at all. So thank you, Charlotte, for sending me such an expensive highlighter. Well, Charlotte Tilbury is overall a very expensive brand, so thank you for even putting me on your PR list. <laughs> so the highlighter is universal. I mean, I was a little bit worried because I was just like, when a highlighter is universal, I'm just a bit like, is it really? Because, you know, some highlighters can be looking ashy and mad on certain skin tones but 
I don't know, I mean, if it's got that much high ratings, then it mustn't be that crazy or bad. But so far, I really like this highlighter. It's so cute. Okay, moving on, we're gonna move on to the eyes. And I'm so excited because I have been dying to play with Made by Mitchell eyeshadow palettes. And I've got two of the eyeshadow palettes. Ooh. Okay, so first impression, I love the packaging. This is such a smart way to make a sleeve like this for an eyeshadow palette. I mean, oh, it's just so smart. I just feel like what Mitchell did for his collection, I really did think that he tried his best to think outside of the box and tries to think of a way of how to make his brand unique and different. And this is actually a very smart, unique way of how to make your eyeshadow palette Stand out. I mean, it's in an actual like laptop case. That's so cool. Okay, so here's the eyeshadow palette is 40 pounds, which I think is pretty decent considering how big the eyeshadow palette is and how many colors there are. Let's just hope that the eyeshadow works for me. <gasps> Woo! This is a good, big, fat, chunky eyeshadow palette straight off the bat. I yeah, I love the shades already. I mean, I am quite a colorful person when it comes to my eyeshadows, whenever I'm in the mood to be creative. I love it, I love this eyeshadow palette. This one is called Head in the Clouds and it definitely does look like very, you know, fantasy, very head in the clouds, you know, it definitely fits the aesthetics. The next one we have is Feet on the Ground. Again, this is 40 pounds as well. This is very like army-like, so cute. I love how like both eyeshadow palettes have got like a different vibe. Oh, yes. Okay, this is cute, love it. Oh, look at this eyeshadow palette down here called Grass. That is so cute. And then we've got Limeade as well, which is so cute. Okay, I really like this one. This is very earthy tones, very sweet. Here are the differences of the two eyeshadow palettes. Which one is your favorite? I'm gravitating towards this one, Head in the Clouds. I don't know why, I'm really loving the purple and the blue and the oranges. This one, I like it too, but I'm, I'm much preferring this one for some reason, which is weird because when I first saw pictures of these eyeshadow palettes, I thought I'd gravitate towards this, but seeing this in person, I'm like, girl. You fan. And then I have the Made by Mitchell eyeshadow brushes as well. Oh, I love the color of these brushes. It's so cute. Wow, these are really soft. I love getting new brushes because the feeling of them is just, it almost feels like my cats, which I know is like kind of gross to say, but it's just so soft. It is quite pricey. The brushes are retailed at £71.50, but they are on sale for £53.60. And you can also do clear pay as well, which basically means you can pay monthly if you fancy doing that. I remember years ago, I was talking to my friends about makeup brushes and I was just saying to her like, big makeup brushes are so expensive. And my friend was saying it was because there's more hair you well this is like fake hair but like the more hair there is in a brush the more they have to up the prices which is so annoying so I really do hope that maybe I don't know I mean this is like no shade or anything but I really do hope that one day made by Mitchell or another brand like Holly Boone Cosmetics or just like an indie brand could you know make cheaper affordable brushes for us hopefully. Here are the swatches for Feet on the Ground. Honestly guys, I have never done so many swatches in my whole entire life for a YouTube video. I felt like I had to do swatches because I was just very curious about how these eyeshadows would look. And I had a little bit of trouble swatching ammo. For some reason it picked up on my finger, but when it came to swatching it just wasn't working. So it might be because I don't have any like primer or anything like tacky on my arm, so that's probably why. Now I did go over like two to three times on each of the swatch, which is not a bad thing I mean they are swatches swatches work completely differently to how you actually apply them onto your eyes but I am very happy with the swatches so far and this isn't all of it it's actually three more shades but I was just like wow I have like no space and I don't want to like put them on my shoulder but I'm gonna put it on my finger here are the other three remaining swatches okay so this is head in the cloud I managed to squeeze all of the swatches on my arm because I kind of crammed it at the beginning so I had a little bit of trouble swatching the shade midnight and night shift um, this is midnight. I tried to use two fingers because I thought I was going crazy. I don't know why, but like it picked up so well on my finger. But when I swatched it on my arm, which is this shade right here, it just didn't like transfer very well. I wasn't sure why. Um, hopefully it's just a primer thing and that's it. Same with night shift as well. It's picking up on my finger. Like this is my pinky. 
So you see how much eyeshadow there is on my pinky finger? It just wasn't transferring onto my skin. I, I'm not sure what to think. I'm just thinking it might be just a primer thing, but um, I am quite happy with the overall eyeshadow colors, especially like from this down here. I feel like towards the end of the eyeshadow palette, they just started to get a little bit sheer. I think Banana Skies might need a little bit of help in terms of like a, an eyeshadow primer because that was quite difficult to swatch, but I'm having a feeling I'm gonna really like these Made by Mitchell eyeshadow colors. So yeah, let's make a cute look. I'm gonna use the ABH eyeshadow primer for my eyelids. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow primers. I originally wanted to use the shade Cockpit and, how do you say this, Twinkle? I really wanted to use those two shades, which is this one here and this one here. They're so bomb and I just feel like it's very Christmassy, so I'm gonna dip into those shades. If you wanna see me create more looks in the future using this eyeshadow palette, make sure to check me out on Instagram and TikTok because I definitely wanna try out the more darker shades in the future, but today I'm in the mood to go green. So I'm gonna use the number one eyeshadow brush and pick it up. Okay, there's kickback, but I'm not one of those people that get mad at kickback to be honest. Kickback is kickback. Sometimes I think when an eyeshadow palette has kickback, it means it's quite pigmented. I'm gonna put the shade cockpit right here. I'm just gonna dab first because this is what Mitchell does and I kind of want to like implement his techniques into this video. Oh this eyeshadow brush is so nice and this eyeshadow as well is super pigmented which is cute. On tap 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 in. And I'm gonna use a clean made by Mitchell brush. This is the number three and I'm just gonna like kind of blend out the edges a little bit. I am honestly blown away at how pigmented this eyeshadow color is and also I managed to like spread it across my whole entire eyelid. I don't think I've ever experienced an eyeshadow that is able to do that because in order for me to have this one brush only dip into the pan like five times and to have it spread all across my eyelid, that is insane actually because in my own experience, and I've been doing makeup for a really long time, whenever I tried to do like a one, full on one eyeshadow blowout smoky eye look, I have to dip into the pan like at least like three, four times in order for my whole entire eyelid to achieve this one color blocky type of eyeshadow look. Guys, this is really, really good. Like this eyeshadow is actually really stunning and it's working for me really, really well. Okay, I dipped into this five times, okay? I'm gonna show you again. I'm gonna tap off a little bit and then tap in. Like, how is this one eyeshadow able to spread across my whole entire eyelid so easily? Do you guys get what I'm saying? Like, I would have to dip in loads of times in order to do my whole entire eyelid. This one block smoky eye. I really like this eyeshadow. I'm feeling it myself, it looks so good. Next I'm gonna use the number four eyeshadow brush and dip into Twinkle. Twinkle, it's spelled with a T-W-I-N-Q-U-L. Twinkle, I mean, you can't get any more British than that. Wow, that is so pigmented, wow. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, this is divine. I like this so much. I like this so much. Do you know what I like about this eyeshadow is that it's not too sparkly. Cause you know how sometimes you just want to wear like a eyeshadow, but you don't want it to be too sparkly, but you kind of want it to be like a subtle sparkly. That's like what I'm looking for in today's look. And I just wanted to have something that's like, you know, glam, but not too in your face. I want to dip into Butter Days. Butter Days, girl, it's Better Days. I am so blind, which is this shade right here. It's this yellow sparkly shade. I want to see how this look on the inner corner of my eyes. This is a really nice yellow. I definitely think this brush is not made to pick up shimmery eyeshadows. This is the M2 brush. Really sorry, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and use my own favorite like pencil brush in order to blend out the inner corner of my eyes. I will be cute to do a dramatic eyeliner with this look because you know, I'm in that mood. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. I like to curl my lashes even though you can't really see my lashes, but sometimes lashes, mine goes down like this, they don't curl up. So in order to help them curl up, I have to use lash curlers. And whenever I don't curl my natural lashes and I go ahead and put on falsies, it creates such a shadow on my my 
eyes and I'm just like, I don't like it. So yeah, that's the reason why I'm curling my lashes. And I like to use the Shiseido ones. I heard Kevin Laquan ones are really good. I remember watching Twee's Instagram stories. So I really want to check out Kevin Laquan. I don't really have much of his makeup. I should really get some of his because he's such a, an iconic makeup artist. For lashes, I can't help but use my lashes, guys. I'm really sorry. I mean, I just love my lashes so much. And you know, I made them in a way where I can wear them on a daily basis. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and put on my Eyelore Lashes in Yas Queen. I have this reusable lash case that I got off of Amazon. It's so handy. So it just keeps everything all in place and tidy. Oh my God, I just love how Yas Queen looks with this eye look. I'm gonna put a little bit of the ABH eyeshadow primer just on my lower lash line. So when I go ahead and put cockpit underneath my eyelids, it, you know, looks banging. <laughs> okay, moving on to the lips now. Also guys, this eye makeup, this eye makeup is fire it's been a very long time since i've made a colorful eye look and i'm just like you know when you're just so proud of yourself that you made a beautiful eye look that's how i feel okay so the next product that i want to try out is for my lips and this is the makeup by mario master mats pro lip palette okay so when i first saw this i was like why are you launching this i mean i know you're a professional makeup artist but is it really gonna like help people you know like i feel like for makeup brands it is becoming more and more challenging every day when it comes to creating products and you know when i saw it i was like hmm okay but then when i tried it i was like actually no ling you need to sit down and shut up because i'm actually using this quite often and i didn't think i would and the reason why i'm using it more often is because i am actually able to customize my own nude like who wouldn't want that so yeah i Personally, really like this. As you can see, I really like these two shades over here. First one and the third one down. Those two shades work really well and I add a little bit of yellow just to give it that, you know, that that type of 90s type of nude. <laughs> and what I like about this palette is that it's got this little swivel thingy so you can like take it out, pick up your brush. This brush comes with the palette and you just pick it up just a little bit, put it on here and then just pick up another nude. I think I'm gonna go for, just try something different. Let me try this one down here. I love adding a tiny bit of yellow into my nudes because Again, it gives it that type of retro nude. And yeah, you just mix it together and you just make your own cute little nude. And I can't believe I was such a bitch when I saw this because I'm just like, this is actually a really great lip palette. I know it's not for everyone, but if you love, you know, makeup and especially if you're a freelance makeup artist, this actually will come in handy. Because I'm not a freelance makeup artist, I kind of looked at this and thought, am I ever gonna use this? But I'm actually using this more than ever, which is great. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on. I don't have any lip liner on. I'm gonna put the lip liner on afterwards. And the lip brush is so nice as well because it's not too small. I don't like it when brands make small lip brushes. I like something that's quite long and a little bit thick, you know? It's lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy. It kind of feels like there's nothing on my lips, which I kind of like. It's moisturizing as well. Not too moisturizing where it's like oily and slippery. It's like, it's got that very lightweight type of moisturization. So if you do suffer from really, really dry lips, I do recommend exfoliating and lip prepping before putting this on. For lip liner, I'm going to use Morphe Sweet Tea, use code Ling if you want to save 10% off. So this is what I mean. I kind of want Sweet Tea to be the star of the show on my lips. Hence why I put in this on on top of the Makeup by Mario lipstick. And I find this method is much easier to create like a lip ombre. You guys see what I mean? Like how easy is that? So yes. And then lastly, I know how long this video is, but girl, when I say I'm gonna be testing out some new products for you. I'm testing them out for you guys. So the next product is the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss. I love Too Faced Lip Injection. It is so bomb and it really does make your lips look juicy. So let's see how this all come out. Oh, it smells really nice. This is called The Bigger The Hoops. Too Faced, you naughty, naughty brand. Oh, I can feel my lips tingling just a teeny bit, not too much. Oh, this is so nice. So I went off camera for a couple of mins and and guys, my lips, they are plumping, but it doesn't hurt though compared to like the original lip injection. This feels way more subtle. Because I'm so experienced using the Too Faced lip injection, I don't find it painful. I know some people do, but to me it's like tingly. And this is like a much more like less tingly version compared to the original lip injection. I like it, I'm happy. My lips are looking a little bit luscious can't complain. I really hope this video has helped you guys out and hopefully my review were somewhat 
resourceful. I am so happy with all of the products I have tried. Like I said earlier on in the video, if you are interested in me trying out more of the Made by Mitchell eyeshadow palettes, make sure to check me out on TikTok and Instagram as well because I will be creating a lot of looks using his eyeshadow palettes. I really hope you guys like this look as well that I created. I usually, whenever I do like one of these types of videos where I review products, I tend to make like a shit look, but today girl, today your girl came through, yeah. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday as well, so make sure you subscribe, hit that bell button, even though I don't think that bell button even works, but you know, please join the Dumpling Fam. We are growing every day, little by little, and I love it so much. And I'll see you in Sunday's YouTube video because Sunday is gonna be a good one. I'm gonna be testing out Savage X Fenty's lingerie because that brand is always sponsoring influencers and I always see it and I'm just like, okay, it must be good then. So stay tuned for Sunday YouTube video and hopefully I'll see you then. Bye.